So in this part, let's give our player some animation. Let's give him a walking animation and an idle animation. So first I'm going to go to the project window, right click, create folder, animation. Then I'm going to select the player. I'm going to add component miscellaneous animator. Then I am going to go window animation. I'm just going to move mine over here. So the player selected. He has an animator. And I'm in the animation window. So over here, there is this bar. You can click on that to create a new clip. And select the animation folder. Let's call this player idle. Save that. So now it says player idle in that bar that was empty before. I'm going to press the little red recording button that's above it. So now there is a red line in the timeline here. I'm going to drag that from the bar at the top of it. I'm going to drag that over a little distance. And then inside the player, I'm going to change the scale of his belly to 1.2 in the X, Y, and Z scale. So now it's fatter and it's added this keyframe here. And at the start, it's, it's at 1. So I'm going to move a little further ahead and I'm going to put it back to 1 so that it can loop nicely, like he's breathing. Then I am going to select his head above the middle keyframe, and I'm just going to drag it up a little bit. And I'm going to go back to the starting frame and copy the Y position of his head. And go to the final frame and paste it. You can see it's red because we're animating. So now he's got like this, this funny funny breathing animation. So you can press play beside the recording button if you want to see it go. And in the animator window, so window animator, well the player is selected in the hierarchy and I'm going to stop I'm going to stop recording in the animation window first. Now I'm going to press play up in, in the actual play button. So now with the player selected you can see the player idle animation is what's playing. And in the game window you can see he's looping that animation. So there's that animation. So now let's add a walking animation. So I'm going to click on that bar again in the animation window where it says player idle right now and go create new clip. Select the animation folder. Call that player walk. Save that. Now we're in the timeline for the player walk. You can click that bar and switch between them if you want. So we're in the player walk, I have it recording right now. And also in the animator, there's a player walk added in here. So these are all the different animation states for him. And he has to be selected, otherwise sometimes you won't see anything here. So player walk, and it's recording. So I'm going to just move his leg I'm going to rotate his leg to 60 in the x-axis. And I'm going to rotate his left leg to minus 60. Then I'm going to move the timeline a little bit and reverse those. So his left leg is positive 60 and his right leg is minus 60. You can in this in this animation timeline, 
So these keyframes can be moved around. The one at the top that doesn't have anything named beside it moves everything together. I'm going to select the, the first set of keyframes and go Command C. And I'm going to move up over here and go Command V. So I've copied and pasted them. So I've got this ridiculous little run thing. I think I'm going to move his head and his belly down a little bit in the middle of that. copy his head's original position, paste it over here at the end, copy his belly's original keyframe, paste that at the end as well. <laughs> so there you go. So that's there's his, his walk animation. And I'm going to stop recording it. You can press play whenever you want. You can go back to the idle watch that one. So in the maximize on play. So right now when I play he's doing that idle breathing animation. But inside of the animator for him I use the middle mouse button to drag around in here. You can also scroll up and down. So right now there's the player idle is orange. That's because it's his default animation. So if I wanted his walk to be the default animation, you can right click that, set as default. And now when I press play, I'll be doing the walk animation. And later on we can use code to switch between these. I'm going to make the player idle my default though. My default I should just be standing there breathing. And let's go file, save, scene. And that's it for this part.